I'm especially um, excited about today because uh, we've named this building after one of our former colleagues, Supervisor Centeno, who continues to be a, a, a colleague and a good friend. And I'm, I'm really excited to be able to commemorate today uh, with uh, Mr. Centeno. What today means is that we have an expanded, uh, remodeled facility that's going to enable uh, better services a better opportunities for engagement of your county government here in the North County and it's overall just better for the Santa Maria community. As some of you know the building D addition was a shift in gears from a new building planned across the street but ultimately found to be too costly. Nonetheless the design team under the direction of General Services Senior Project Manager John Green was able to maximize the scope of improvements to the building D within a reduced project budget including code improvements, raising the ceiling of the hearing room, revamping the lighting and audiovisual, installing new finishes and furniture, along with the 2,000 square foot addition containing the new lobby, restrooms, conference room entry, and support spaces. The project's green highlights include energy efficient lighting, energy efficient HVAC system, thermal efficient windows, low water use plumbing and irrigation, instantaneous hot water in the restrooms, low VOC and recycled content materials, and a reflective cool roof. So as the resident with Peter here in this building, uh, we just really want to thank the Deany uh, company because of the fact, uh, I mean, they did all of this construction and kept this open the entire time. It was uh, always uh, available to the public uh, for all of their needs. So uh, we didn't lose any time. We didn't ever have to shut the building down. A real testament to you guys. And I do have to give a special shout out to Willie, your foreman. Uh, I, I, I told Mike, I said, I don't know if it reflects poorly on me or not, but he was here when I got here and he was here when I left. That guy was, uh, and he was paying attention to every detail. As you can see, the building looks great inside. Uh, Joe, great day for you. Uh, I don't know what else we could do. This is a, uh, a testament to you and all you've done for the citizens of Santa Maria, and we really appreciate it. So thank you. For 15 years, there has been one rotating gallery in there. Now we have two galleries, and we have increased art in the hearing room. And uh, it's very exciting because it's provided places for hundreds of uh, Santa Maria, Lompoc, San Inez artists to show their artwork. I want to send you off with just one thought as you go through your week. Wherever you go, whatever you do, whatever you see, Try to imagine life without any art. It gives you a great perspective. Thank you. You know, this is a very humbling experience for me. Uh, and I was mentioning to someone today I, that, you know, I really like to be on the giving end of it, not on the receiving end of it. But one of the things that I think we're blessed with here today is that this, this extension to this beautiful place was done for the benefit of our great citizens who really, really need to have the support of their elected officials. <coughs> and I'm pleased that they're gonna be able to come to the board meetings, they're gonna have a comfortable place to sit and be a part of the discussion, and they won't have to mingle out here like they used to do in the past. So I'm gonna thank you uh, people for making this available. Each one of the members of the board needs to be uh, thanked not, not, not just the 5th District, all the districts need to be thanked for allowing that money to come here and to build this beautiful facility. 